Hello everybody. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how to change host to a multiplayer save or just how to install Sublime Text and edit your XML file, which is what Stardew uses for your save file. I'm going to show you how to do that um, in a pretty easy way. Honestly, it's probably easier if you're not a programmer and already have Sublime Text because you may have a little bit different spacing. Um, However, I just wanted to make this as like a quick guide for anybody that doesn't really know how to program or just has never used Sublime Text before. If you've used Sublime Text before and you haven't edited a whole lot about your setting with your settings, um, you still should be okay. There's some scripts out there that can help bring your spacing back, but I'm going to be doing this for just a simple people's guide on how to change host on your multiplayer save. So if, if somebody isn't playing as much anymore and you're both on PC, um, and you just want to host the world, but you don't want to have to get all 10 stats again, or level your character up again, or level up everybody's friendships again, and do all that. I'm going to show you how to change all that, and in a pretty simple way. And, uh, yeah, so stick around for the video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, or just, uh, DM me on YouTube. I'm not too popular, so I can usually check everything. But, all right. First off, a quick shout out to Smashy. Um, probably wouldn't have figured this out without this subreddit. Um, I was definitely very confused up until this point. A few things are different now, that, and I'll show you as well. Um, you could definitely just go through this guide and figure this out like I did. However, I just wanted to make this video just for people that are more visual with like seeing it happen in a video as opposed to just reading a guide and then trying to match everything up but the guide is very I like this guide a lot uh, it it got me figured out and then now I'm able to make this video so I wanted to just throw that shout out there and I'll provide the link to the guide in the description for anybody that just wants to read this and go through it it's definitely recommended um, and then if you need to you can come back and check my video on what's different about this part right here Okay, so these are all the steps we're going to be taking. Um, I'm going to show you how to install the Sublime Text, how to install package control extensions, as well as the indent and XPath. Um, I'll show you how to get to your saves so you can make a backup, how to actually open the save file, how to format it, and then for this video we're going to be doing the host of a co-op save. Um, I will include all the links, like I said, in the uh, shout out that is the link to the uh, reddit post that I saw that actually uh, how I figured this out originally um, so once again huge shout out to this post because I definitely wouldn't have been able to figure this out without the wiki um, but yeah let's go ahead and get right into it we're gonna go ahead and click on subline text we're gonna hit download from Windows it'll pop up with a little setup you'll just go ahead and hit save um, once this gets done downloading and you can just go ahead and run the installer. I was just gonna say, thought that was taking a second there. Hit next. Uh, for you, for you guys, just hit install. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel on that. But it'll run real quick. It's real simple setup. And then I'll see you over on Sublime Text to do the package control extensions and plugins. Is go ahead and open your Sublime Text now. Um, if you're on Windows, it should just be, if you press the Windows button, it should just pop up the most recent installed um, application on your computer. Once you're at that, you can press this button up here on Tools, Command Palette, and you type in Install Package Control. Or you can just press this right here. And it should just download the latest version of package control. And then you can just hit enter again. Once you've done that, once you have that done, you go back to your command palette. You'll type in indent XML. It'll pop up right there. Hit enter. And then you're going to want to go back. Ah, shit. You want to kind of go back and type in XPath. Set syntax XPath 1.0. 
if you do that, you should be good to go. So to start with this step, if you're not the host, just go ahead and have the file sent to you real quick. Once you have the file, um, go ahead and hit Windows R. If you're the host, you can go ahead and hit Windows R as well, because you don't need to have the file sent to you. The saves file is already on your computer. Um, you'll type in the percent app data percent forward slash Stardew Valley forward slash saves. Once you got that down, you just hit OK, and it'll bring you to your saves file. If you're the host, your file is going to be right here. You just need to select the one that you have named that. If you're not the host, go ahead and open up the WinRAR file, or if you already have the folder, that's good too. Drag the folder in here, into your Stardew Valley Roaming saves file. Once you have that in here, you can go ahead and click on this. Leave everything else alone. For what we're doing with transferring the types, you only need to open and edit this part right here, this file. Click on it, hit subline text. Now mine is already indented. Um, however, yours is not. Just go ahead and hit Control A. Go ahead and hit Selection. Hit Format. And through the steps that we did earlier, you just hit Indent XML. And that should indent everything for you. Once that's all indented, you're ready to follow through with the next steps. For the first step, go ahead and open two new files. One, two. And that's going to bring two tabs up here. Go ahead and hit Player. So this is line three, and this is the player line. So this is your host right now. You're going to want to copy this from back to front and that's just to make sure you get all the spacing and only line three I can't stress that enough only line three all of the spacing paste that into your first one here now for the second part and this is actually what's different now for your farm hands this is what it used to look like um, a player would just be a farm hand as an individual so they would have a farm hand and all this stuff under it. Now, what you have going on is if you indent, if you condense farm hands, it's going to condense all of the farmers. So now each person is an individual farmer. So you need to condense until you find the desired um, host or your character, if that's what you're doing. Here's my character. Here's my farmer. I'm going to go ahead, and the easiest way to do this is just condense each farmer until you get to the one that you need. When you find the one you need, go ahead and condense it again, just like you did for player th for the player. And copy it, all of it, just like the player. And you're going to take that, and you're going to paste this in here. Now, let's go all the way back to the top here and take a note of how many lines there are. So there are one, two, three lines right here. You go back to your player. Oh man, there we go. You go back to the player, one line, and then the line breaks right here. So this is what you need to mimic. So let's go ahead and hit Control A and then hit tab once when you do that you've now mimicked the spacing for the farmer now for the farmer you're gonna hit control A and you're gonna hit shift tab and what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring the whole file one line back and then all you're gonna want to do after that is switch these player tags around so you can hit player go down player and then you'll go here and you'll type in farmer or you can go to oops you can go to here and just copy it farmer and then go down again Shoot, God, so sensitive. Farmer. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, once you have this, this is where things might get a little tricky if you do anything wrong. But if you follow this to a T, you should be good to go. 
And what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to remove this line entirely. And now I'm going to paste it. Let's go back to find previous. And see now all the, the spacing is correct. If I break this down, there shouldn't be any issues. It should be exactly like that. Now, let's go back up to our player here. So now we need to replace this. So just like how we did with the farmhand, go ahead and just delete that. Go back to the top of this file. Copy that. Paste that in. Go back to the top because it's only line three. And you want to make sure that your spacing, it should match this right here. That should all look the same. And then your farmers should all be in one more line of ahead. If you got that right, we should be ready to launch the game. Go ahead and hit save. Um, you can leave these untitled tags open just in case. And then I'm going to go ahead and open my game, and I'll see you guys in Stardew. Alright, so once you're back here, you can hit load. It still should show their character for the first few days, uh, first few loads that you do. But after a while, it'll just switch over to your character. Um, but once you've done all that, load into the game, it should pop you in to your house, whichever one you were editing. Um, and it'll spawn you inside. Uh, all the other cutscenes will work the same. I might have one. Yeah, I got Demetrius, so it's still going to show me here. But once you go through all this here... Ah, shit. Didn't think I'd actually have a cutscene. Um, once you go through... Um, once you actually come outside, you'll be able to see that you're still at your house. A note is when you're at Robin's, it might say edit house, but you're going to be still working on your house. It's not going to be the farmhouse, so any rooms that you want to add... It's all going to go to whichever house that you're linked to. So if it, you're this house, that house, whichever one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you've gotten here, uh, you didn't have any issues loading. You can do a lot of different things in the XML code. Now that you have all that working, you can change the farm type. Uh, do a lot of different things. I may make another guide on how to do some other stuff. But for the most part, I just wanted to kind of make this quick guide on how to actually edit the host file. Uh, or edit um, a farmhand to the host, I would say. I didn't really find a lot of information on that besides the Reddit post. Um, however, the Reddit, po the Reddit post still does work, and I definitely, if you feel like you don't need a video in order to get that done, you could just check that out and probably get everything figured out. Um, but for the most part, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if not, hope you have a great day. Hey, you like microphone? He's a bomber! He's a bomber! Oh! oh, Jesus Christ, he's angry. Don't you throw that. Don't you throw that. Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's burnt. Oh, fuck.